I'll tell you what, the best thing about this video idea is that I don't have to spend any time getting to the start. Uh, okay, maybe it'll take some time. Please load! Come on, buddy, you're nearly there. Come on, you got this. I believe in you, come on. I often talk about how Portal is full of bugs, but I think arguably the best way to show that is by showing you what I can do without even leaving the vault. I mean, to be fair, there's lots to do in the vault. There's a radio you can chuck around, a clipboard with which you can do the same, and a toilet that you can flush. But once we start breaking the rules, uh, the limits are boundless. <laughs> Although I will admit that this ledge is fairly boring, it's dumb you can get up here, right? <laughs> and if you're in the mood, you can actually use the radio to destroy the lamp. Theoretically. There we go. <laughs> I genuinely have no idea why this happens. <laughs> and I don't want to forget to mention that when you pick up this... How? And I don't want to forget to mention that when you pick up this cube, if you smash it and then pick up its individual bits, you can actually get them to glitch straight through the wall. <laughs> Ooh. Who needs proper clipping? <laughs> but that's assuming you actually want to play the vault, because if you don't, you know, Valve's nice enough to make this kind of thing completely optional. If you just stand against the wall and whack the radio into yourself, then if uh, if you start spamming save loads, uh, something interesting is going to start happening. Uh, That's right. You just go through the wall. <laughs> <laughs> There's no justification at this point. Just a radio and a bed. That's all it takes to f absolutely destroy Portal. Uh. This video is dedicated to this impatient viewer.